Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy aka Zardrombe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. The 5th anniversary is now live on the global side of the game, and upon first login, we all have received the God Dragonstone 9. Now, with the God Dragonstone 9, we can select one from a handful of characters to add to our collection or to unlock some hidden potential paths as we see fit, of course. But today, this is going to be an opinion based video, so uh, if you have any different opinions or disagreements or you have additional info you want to add, go ahead and drop that down in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys think. But today I'm going to be talking about which units I think are the most value for the God Dragonstone 9. So we'll get to all of that here in a minute. But first, I want to let you guys know I do have a giveaway going on for the 5th anniversary from now until July 31st. The giveaway is going to consist of the Band Presto Dokkan Battle collaboration for the 5th anniversary, the 7.1 inch figure of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, as well as a $20 Google Play or Apple gift card. To be eligible for the giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and then jump down to the link in the description below for my Discord chat. I do have a giveaway channel on the Discord chat where I will be selecting a winner and announcing more details as we go along. So this giveaway is a way for me to say thanks again to all of you people who are supporting my, my content. You guys are amazing. I love each and every one of you guys, and I appreciate you all. So, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. Drop down to that link in the Discord in the description below for the Discord chat, and then stay tuned for more information as we go along. So let's go ahead and hop over to Dokkan Battle first, where we can see, of course, if you don't know where to find the selection of units available right now, you go over to the Baba Shop, and here you can see the God Dragonstone. This is where you can buy all of, or should I say, one <laughs> from the many units. So if you look at the right side of the screen there, you can see all of the units that are available to pick up from the God Dragonstone 9. So I will say this, there are a lot of really good units in this. Now, some of them are older, but there are some that, in my opinion, stand out above the rest. So if you already have, I'm going to basically do a top five of the top five units that I recommend, especially for newer players or if you don't have them all the way rainbowed out or anything like that. But um, I will say this, the mentionable units that aren't in the top five are going to be the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, which is a really good unit for tanking for things like Super Battle Road and shorter events like that. You also have the Fizz Super Saiyan Goku, who is a really good unit once you get him Extremes Awakened, but he does pop up, or he has popped up in past Baba Shop uh, ticket uh, purchases and stuff like that. So most of us have that guy already. Um, the, the Tech Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and the Fizz Super Saiyan Trunks are also really good units, but again, there's other units that might replace them on some teams. And at the end of the day, uh, there are some other good units. I don't have time to talk about all of them. I'm try to keep it as short as I can. At the end of the day, you have the Int Elder Kai, of course. The Elder Kais you can always use. So if you have all these guys or anything like that, you can always go in and buy one of those, and it's not a bad choice. But um, at the end of the day, I also want to say that if you don't have any of these units and you just need to add them to your collection, um, select one of the guys you don't have yet, and that's, not, that's also not a bad choice. But again, if you're looking for the most value, these are the top five units that I recommend. So these five units are what I believe to be the most useful out of all of that list. Now again, if you already have these guys, or you have them rainbowed out or anything like that, feel free to choose whoever you want. But I'm gonna tell you why I think these guys, especially for newer players, are the best choice. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku first. Now, these are all of their Extreme Z Awaken stats. All of these units have Extreme Z Awakenings, excuse me, Extreme Z Awakenings, and these guys are all Extreme Z Awakened when we talk about these stats. So let's start off with the Goku. So you look at this, is his super attack is going to greatly lower defense, but his passive skill is the main thing because he's going to get defense plus 70% at start of turn. So each turn he's going to be getting defense plus 70%. And then he has attack plus 120% for 7 turns from the start of the turn. So he's going to be able to deal a lot of damage for 7 turns, and then he's going to get tankier as your uh, event, whatever event you're taking on, goes on. Now, uh, mind you, something I forgot to mention, these guys aren't any in any specific order. All five of these guys are really good, and it just depends on what your box looks like. So, I'm not going to go too in-depth, but that Goku is a good selection. The next unit we're going to talk about is the Strength Super Gogeta. So his super attack is going to cause immense damage to the enemy and lowers both attack and defense, but his passive skill, attack and defense plus 77%, he gets attack plus 7%. Per uh, rainbow key sphere obtained, and then the biggest thing is his attacks are effective against all types, which is always useful. 
and then his categories are really good. He's got fusion movie heroes, Super Saiyans, Other World Warriors, and the new Last Resort category that's going to be brought to the global. And I guess at the end of the day, too, uh, his leader skill is in all types, keep less HP, attack, and defense, plus 77%. So for something like Dokkan Battlefield, if you need a secondary leader, this guy might be a decent fill-in. He's not the best as far as leader skill goes, but for things like Dokkan Battlefield, he wouldn't make for too bad of a secondary leader if you need that. So let's go ahead and hop into the next unit here, which is going to be the Strength Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So his super attack is the main thing we're looking at here. It causes supreme, supreme damage to all enemies and raises attack for three turns. Now he is very similar to the LR Strength Broly. If you have the LR Strength Broly, um, they do have some differences of course, but for the most part, they are fairly similar. This guy is a unit that I use often in World Tournament for grinding that out. I know the 33rd World Tournament just ended, but this guy does an amazing job with the Fizz Broly, um, just attacking all of the units on the other side, dealing some some good damage. It just helps make World Tournament go by a lot faster, and really, he's just a solid unit in general. His passive skill is going to attack and defense plus 80% when attacking as well, so really good stuff there. Um, again, the LR Strength really is a, you know, kind of a... Uh, a trade-in for this guy, but if you don't have him, or you know, if you want another uh, strength Broly unit or have some hidden potential pass, you still need unlocked. Like as on any of these guys, this is a good selection as well. Let's go ahead and hop over to the next, which is going to be the Int Super Janemba. When he gets Extremes Awakened, his leader skill is actually going to be Int type key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 90% which is actually pretty solid uh, so co of course it's for super or extreme int so not too bad again for Dokkan Battlefield or you know even 90% isn't too bad for some other events if you really needed it. Super attack is going to cause immense damage to enemy and greatly lower defense and then his passive skill really good he gets attack defense plus 70% but his guard is activated against all attacks and then he also has a medium chance which is a 25% chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks for one turn plus an additional attack plus 40% for four turns when guard is activated which he has guard activated against all attacks so you do have a chance that you know you can get him out on multiple rotations and stack that attack a little bit but the main thing is is he he's just a defensive monster he's a really good unit for defense and stuff like that so really good unit if you don't have him or again hidden potential paths really good selection there so our final unit we're going to talk about is going to be the tech perfect cell. Now, I love this unit because of the fact that, well, first of all, his super attack is going to recover 10% HP, which isn't a lot, but as you get super attacks off over and over, not a bad deal to get some, uh, some health recovered, some HP recovered. But his passive skill is absolutely awesome in the fact that he gets attack and defense both plus 15% per key sphere obtained. It doesn't matter what color it is, attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, and then plus key plus one in addition when you get rainbow key spheres obtained. So he gets two uh, he gets two key for every rainbow key sphere, and then anything else he gets attack and defense plus 15%. This is actually the unit that I used on the punching bag event to max out. Now I do have him rainbowed, but I used this guy to max out the damage with the, you know, basically the 9999 damage on the punching bag. He's just a really good unit. He tanks well. If you, you know, get enough orbs off, he it does plenty of damage and then he also heals so just a really good unit all five of these units are really good units and they all have you know kind of a, a more of a specific use but still they're just really good to bring in on some of these events and really any team that you can make them fit on they're they're amazing so um, again the, the here is the full list um, I'll just scroll through it one last time many of you guys know you know about a lot of these units but uh, again if you don't have any of these units add them to your collection but if you feel like it's more worthwhile to unlock some hidden potential spend this dragon stone as you wish I'm not gonna tell you how to spend it but this is my recommendation those five units are absolutely amazing and still because of their extremes awakening I believe are relevant in the current game in some way shape or form but anyway, that's pretty much everything I've got to talk about today. Hopefully you found some useful information in this video. Again, if you have any comments or questions or anything else you want to add, drop that down in the comments below. If I gave you any useful information, hey, go ahead and drop a like on the video. And again, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and drop down to that link in the description below to make yourself eligible for the 5th anniversary giveaway. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. I'll catch you on the next one.
signing out.